Okay. News 8's Kent Pierce live on the tracks in Fairfield this morning. All right, Kent, how much more are we talking here? We're talking about 5.3% more, and I'll break down what that means for the various ticket prices in a second. But, yeah, you're right. Uh, it's not a shock exactly. We're just out here giving a little reminder to people that, yes, you are going to be paying more as you head to the city or wherever you're going on Metro North this morning. And although people knew about it, it's not exactly like paying more for your daily commute screams. Happy New Year to everybody. That 5.3% means that for a monthly pass from here in Fairfield to Grand Central now costs about $17 more from New Haven. That is more like $20 more for the monthly pass. The DOT says this is the first fare increase on the New Haven line in seven years. And during that time, costs have gone up a lot, so they need to raise the fares to cover them. This is just the beginning, by the way. Fares are going to keep going up 4% a year. And, well, riders are not happy about it. Service is lackluster. Uh, the newer trains that they've bought, they uh, don't run during the peak times. They generally run them uh, off peak. And uh, generally the trains are not in good shape. You do not sound happy about paying an extra 5.3% then? Uh, not at all. He is not happy about it, and he mentioned those new trains that he doesn't really see on his commute. Well, that's the reason why this year's hike is a little bit more. It's 4% a year for the next three years. This year is 5.3. That little extra bit is to pay for all those new M8 train cars. They're not seeing a lot of them during peak hours. They say the idea is over the next year or so, you are going to see a lot more of those on the New Haven line. Though, and maybe then people will feel a little better about paying a little bit more to have those nicer cars, but right now, not so much. Live at the Fairfield Metro train station, I'm Kent Pierce, News 8.